Please welcome Courtney Thorne Smith. Norm, you're sick and you're all over her like a bare rug. Just sleep you know, alone. No, no, you know, because before during the commercial, I was saying I had a huge crush on her. Yeah. And then you said you did too. <laughs> I said I did. When you were on Day by Day, I had I developed this big crush on you, and this whole talk show is a scheme but to like get you here. I liked her when she was on the the Tomorrow Show with Tom Snyder. Not the Tomorrow Show, but the later, later show. He says to me in the you break, You have no oh, idea who I am. Yeah, no, I know from that show, that's all. He says to me, oh, I really like her, I saw her, I'm really, I really think she's great, I really have a crush on her. And I said, where, you know, you, oh, you saw her in Miller's Place? He said, no, I was watching Tom Snyder and she was on and she was a great guest. And I said, wait a minute, that's the show that's opposite our show. Why aren't you watching our show, pal? Because I wasn't on it that night. <laughs> This is gonna. This is. We have exciting stuff to talk about. You've been on this show, Melrose Place, for five years. For five years. And now you're leaving. Why are you leaving? Um, it's just it's time. You know, I mean, how many times do you like be Oprah. fired, rehired, <laughs> drunk, sober? I, understand. I know. I understand. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. I see. You mean you got tired of like they because they had your character pretty much go insane. You know, go through all these really weird... Allison has been through so much. I was sexually harassed, carjacked, had an affair with a married man who then tried to rape me and then shot himself mm -hmm. on the phone with me. I was drunk, sober, while well, getting sober, though I got to have an affair. Did he do all that David stuff Elliot. while on the phone with Jack, you or just shot sex himself? Addict. Wait, I'm curious. Um... No, I was on the phone in the office, which okay. makes it really awkward. All right, okay. And he was in Seattle and mm -hmm. he shot himself. Oh my God! Well, he was on the phone. I know. Yeah, and so you finally said, "There's no more that this character can do, right?" I can't do any more. I've been married and divorced and widowed, and it's it's too much. What's going to happen in the season finale? Can you give us a tip for all those fans out there? What's going to happen? I can't tell you. Okay. Are you mad at good me? Good night, if everybody. I did. We had a good time. <laughs> no, I mean, but what? Give us some sense of like, is it one of those? Because every year they try and have a season finale where everybody gets into a zeppelin and blows up, you know? <laughs> Something. Well, now you've given it away. <laughs> it's a zeppelin. It's a zeppelin. All right. Are you talking about Melrose Place? <laughs> no, because I. <laughs> You're the biggest ass I ever met. <laughs> I love you for it. No, because I swear to God, and when I lived in L.A., I lived in, on the actual street called Melrose Place. There's an actual street. There's a Melrose? Is there really a Melrose Place? There's really place? a Melrose, there is a Melrose place. place. Okay, You All know right. this, right? Yes, it's true. So, they opened a restaurant called Melrose Place on it. Uh-huh. And then, it's right beside my house, and every time I go out, there's all these retards, like tourists, and then these tourist retards, like they're always fat and they're taking pictures, <laughs> standing in front of this restaurant. Uh-huh. Yeah? Well, thanks for the help, pal. Uh, he'll get over it. You'll see. Um, what? What? Uh, now, I gotta ask you about this because we brought. You. Shut up. That makes it all right. Well. I want to talk to you about something, because this came up earlier in the show accidentally, because I didn't know what Norm was going to talk about tonight, and it's best sometimes if I don't know. But he mentioned Carrot Top. You are making a movie with Carrot Top, right? I made a movie with Carrot Top. Okay. <laughs> You've made a movie with Carrot Top. It's, it's not out yet. No, it's can not out Can you put the yet. picture up of Carrot Top again, just so we can <laughs> all see him? She just did. Oh, there it is. Again, yeah. There it is. All right. Okay. Wait a minute. She left Melrose Place to do a movie with Carrot Top? <laughs> That's where I'm going, my friend. <laughs> this begs the question now, now uh, why a movie with Carrot Top? Why a movie with Carrot Top? I mean, no, I don't know much about Carrot Top, you know? I, I, I don't know much about him. I'm a little jealous, because he's a red-haired comedian, and I felt like maybe you'd do a movie with me first, then move on to Carrot Top, then to Ralph Mal from Happy Days. <laughs> You know, sort of the three. There's an order in which you do movies with the redheads. What uh, What's he like, first of all? 
He's extraordinarily sweet. Nice guy. He really is, and mm -hmm. he worked very hard, and he was adorable. And he worked with a lot of props and stuff, too, right? Not in the movie. Oh, in the movie they took his props away? <laughs> they took his props away. That's a bad time to suddenly take away <laughs> everything you know about comedy. You know, you've been using props now all your life for comedy. Now we're going to take them away when you make your first movie. Was he okay, though, with it? He was cool? He was great. He did a wonderful job. Do you have a scene where you and, and you, you and him embrace? Yeah, lots of making out. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Nothing but making out. All right. It's like nine and a half weeks, but carrot top. <laughs> Basically, what we were doing. Wow! <laughs> I gotta check out that movie. Is it called Nine and a Half Seconds? <laughs> Like he's premature ejaculated. <laughs> we got it. You know, you know what happened? <laughs> this is what happened. You know what happened? He said nine and a half seconds, and I'm looking at him because I know there's more. <laughs> and I wait and wait, and I see the glimmer in the eye, and then bang! I thought you were going to crack whore, but no. <laughs> but uh, what's the movie going to be called? Well, really? I know what it's going to be called. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> If it's got Carrot Top in it, you know what a good name for it would be? What's that, Norm? Box Office Poison. <laughs> and then two. Oh, She's on. in it. What about my career? Courtney Thorne Smith, the girl sitting to your left, is in the movie. I'm going to go see it for Courtney. <laughs> No, I love this girl. I would see any movie with this girl in it. She's a beautiful lady and, and a talented, nice talk show guest. Okay. As evidenced by her appearance on our rival show. All right, well, there's this two-hour season finale of Melrose Place. There's this movie coming out. Yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the board. Oh, all right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> I, I bet the board is spelled B-O-R-E-D. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's pretty much it. <laughs> We're going to take a break now. We're going to have collective soul in a second. Courtney Thorne-Smith, we hope she's still our friend. We do